On a very different subject, we've heard a lot recently about an increase in stress among young Canadians, especially when it comes to school. Today, the results of a massive survey put some hard numbers to those feelings. CBC's Joanna Romeliotis has the details. You know, we all have mind, you know, we mm -hmm. all experience stress and all that kind of stuff, so and it's important. even as aware. Once or twice a week, they meet like this to drag an often taboo subject into the open. It doesn't make you anything less than a human being if you do suffer from these things. These high school students are all involved in new mental health programs at their school, programs that can be lifelines. Some students um, even try to commit suicide or those thoughts are always going through their heads. So these groups help them deal with those specific thoughts. Mental health is becoming more of an open discussion and even part of the curriculum in schools across the country. But what the largest youth survey of its kind reveals is just how many kids admit they're often struggling. More than 100,000 students in grades 7 to 12 took part in a survey of Canada's largest school board and the results are startling. 66% of students report feeling worried about the future. 67% admit feeling nervous or anxious sometimes or all the time. And even more worrisome, 39% said they felt unable to overcome difficulties. If this is a wake-up call. At least it is telling us these are the areas that we have to pay attention to. The results are a snapshot that reflect a national picture. Just like the adult population, it is estimated that as many as 20% of Canadian youth are affected by mental illness. And why some schools are using everything from sound therapy to meditation to help deal with rising rates of anxiety and depression. Another Ontario board produced this video after a series of recent suicides. Schools, experts say, are critical in helping kids in time. About 70%, that 70% of all mental disorders can be diagnosed before age 25. So where are young people when these disorders are coming on? They're in schools or they should be. And sometimes there will be one of us who has a problem. Today's survey is meant to help Toronto schools develop a mental health strategy, one that will build on an openness that is already emerging. Joanna Romeliotis, CBC News, Toronto.